shoots video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really cool paint effect. So here's what it looks like. Okay, let's get straight into it. First things first, um, you're going to need to create some folders. Now I've already prepared mine. So create five folders with the following headings. Filters, paint over face, paint toss over face, face, paint toss under face, and background. So again, that's filters, paint toss over face, face, paint toss under face, and then backgrounds. Okay, great. So let's get into the first part. Um, I'm going to need to open up this image of a head. Okay, and I've got that in a folder already. So I'm going to hold shift and then just drag that over to my main composition. Yeah, I'm finished with that now. Okay, now I'm going to grab some paint, open that in Photoshop. Okay, so double click this just to make it a layer instead of a background and then press OK. And then click your magic wand tool, click on the black section, refine tool, in fact I'm going to change that tolerance to, to 20. Click on, the refine, uh, click on the black area, click refine, you want your smooth to be 1 and the um, expand contract uh, to be plus 1. Press OK and then press delete. Okay, now click on your remove tool, in fact now first we're going to get the um, Polygon um, lasso tool, and we're just going to select around the area that, that I want. Okay, that's cool for me. Ah, get off. Click your move tool and then drag that over onto the face. Now, get rid of that, I don't need that anymore. Now, this paint uh, needs to go on the paint toss over face folder. I'm going to create a, uh, a group for that. So just press Apple G um, and that creates a group. Okay, now we're just going to Apple T on that layer and then hold Shift, rotate that around and then shrink it down. Oh, I've rotated that far too much. Hold Shift, move that back up a bit. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, now we're going to put a mask on it. So your mask is down here. You've got your effects tool down there and you've got the mask literally right next to it. So just click that. And we're going to select a paintbrush. Make sure you've got it on black. Okay, and this is at um, 50 pixels. It's just a, a soft brush. Okay, and then make sure you're actually on the mask overlay um, section. And then just start painting the area that you don't want to be there. Or visible. Okay, like so. Zoom into that so you can just see. Okay, that's looking cool. So we've got a blue little paint over the face. Now to make the the uh, face actually. Um, oh, I've got the face layer out of the face there. To make the um, the paint layer actually look like it's got the texture of face, we need to go down to the face section. Get the face. Hold Alt. Now, this is going to duplicate it but we're going to put it on top of the paint. Now that's set to multiply. We need it on normal. Now, like I say, this is going to create the texture over the paint that we just put on there. Okay, now you want to hold Alt, and then in between the paint um, layer that we've uh, first created and the face layer, you want to just hold Alt and then click in between it. This little symbol will show up, and then that will put the, um, the face to be a child of the um, paint layer. Right, so that's looking cool at the moment. Now click your um, move tool and then just move that texture over. So you can see the texture now is on the paint, which is exactly what we want. Okay, I'm happy with that. And you can see here, we, we're probably just going to need to get back to the paintbrush tool, put it on white and just come in around here, we took a, a bit too much out. Well, when I say we, I mean me. Okay, I'm happy with that. Zoom out, yeah, cool. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's create a new group. Let's open up the next paint. 
Uh, all of my um, refined edge details are already um, set from the last one. Just click on the background again the, and change it to a layer. Press OK. Get your magic wand tool, click on the white area, press delete, voila. Okay, bring that over. That should go straight into the group folder we've got there. Um, press Apple T to transform. Hold Shift, bring that right down. Then we want to flip that, um, I think it's vertically we want to do it, yep. Okay, we want to just position that around there. Yep. And then we'll put a mask over that again. And we get the gradient tool. Make sure it's selected on black, the color. Okay, and then we're, we're on the, the mask layer. Let me just put the gradient on that, like that. And that's good. Now, again, we're gonna need to get the face there because we need the texture of the face to be on the actual, um, on the actual uh, paint. So we're just gonna rotate that around. Yeah, I think that will give me a nice selection there. Okay, hold Alt in between the two layers and then click. Get your Move tool and we're gonna be, be moving the image of the face to give us our, our texture. We may need to make this a little bit bigger. Yep, we are gonna to need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's zoom back into that. Right, I'm happy with that. Let's bring the opacity down on that though, just slightly, to about 95. Okay, cool, that's starting to look good. Get rid of this, we don't need that anymore. Okay, now for the next one. Same thing again, um, double click the background, make that layer by pressing OK, click your magic wand tool, click the white area, press delete, okay, and then click your move tool, and drag that straight over. Now we need a new folder for that one. Okay, so create a new folder by pressing Apple G. Okay, and this Apple T on that layer, and then make it smaller. This is gonna go on the left side, which make that a bit smaller there. Twist that around a bit. Okay, that looks about right, I think. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Okay, so same thing again. Get your face layer. Apple, I'm uh, not Apple, you need to click, click Alt. Put that on top of the paint file. Apple T, oh, Apple T on the face layer, not on the paint layer. So let's transform it, let's turn that around. Which way do I want it? No, I want it that way. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna make that bigger as well. Yeah, I think that's gonna be cool. Now hold Alt and in between the two layers again and just click. You can see it's taken the texture a bit of the hair and of the skin on this one, which is cool by me. Now, as you can see, I have yet to put a mask on that paint mat, so just put a mask on that now. Now I'll take it all out. Click your gradient, um, okay, gradient tool, yep, that's selected to black, and then just over the chin there, and then click from one side, hold shift, and that gets rid of that quite nicely. We still need to go in with a paintbrush, and get rid of some of the excess stuff that we don't want. 
zoom into that so you can see that clearly. The little dabs there, we'll get rid of all of that because we don't need it. Okay, I've gone too much into it, but that's okay. Let's get your white paintbrush and come back in like that. Make that a bit smaller. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Coolio. Now, next one we need to get. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get this paint one there. Open that in Photoshop. Again, same process. Double click the background. Press OK, that changes it to a layer. Get your magic wand tool, click the black area, press delete. Get your move tool, and drag it over. Now, this is going to be underneath. So, this is going to go under uh, folders that are here. Paint us under our face. So, drag that into there, like so. Apple T, because it's way too big. Or shift, we need the proportions to be kept the same. Okay, we can bring that down some more. Zoom back in. Let's flip that um, horizontally, why not? And rotate to about there. That's looking cool. Let's look, we're going to make that smaller. Now this is going to actually take the texture of the hair. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, we get the, the face again, or we can just go into the paint toss where we've been using the face already. Alt, drag, click on the, the face, drag it down on top of the, the new paint that we've just created. Then we click Alt in between the two layers and then that creates the child again and then just drag it over so that it gives the texture of the hair on that paint selection that we've just created and that is looking cool now um, in fact i'm just going to bring down the opacity of that to 95 just like i did on the other one no no, no i'm not i'm gonna leave it at 100 because that looks good at 100. okay now you can see the composition starting to come together. A few more finer details. Open up your last one. Um, double click the background, make it a layer. Get your magic wand tool, click the back, black, delete, um, and move over. Move tool, move over. Great, great um, folder for that. Don't forget to create folders as you go along. It makes it much more easier. Apple T on that layer. And then we're going to shrink that. So hold um, Shift, keeping the proportions. And then rotate. Hold and Shift again. And about there. No, let's bring that. I've let go of Shift now. Okay. I have that a bit smaller actually. Okay, about there is fine. Put the mask over that. And get your gradient map. Gradient tool, sorry, not gradient map. Hold shift and just get rid of that section over there um, on the left. Okay, now again, we get the, the face tool, the face um, image, alt, just get it on top of that paint there, alt again to create the child. Okay, we want to rotate that, like so, bring that over, 